Thank you for joining the Big Pipe TV demonstration today. Today I'm going to go through the Big Pipe TV user interface and the workings of the system. To give you a bit of background, Big Pipe TV has merged the Android tablet with the traditional middleware solution to deliver an OTT solution and also supporting IPTV as well. So we'll start with the traditional uh, services that you'd receive through your normal middleware provider uh, which we cover so as you can see we have a guide uh, and the user can select the guide normally there would be on a live system there would be metadata in here but um, you can select a channel from here and the content streams so here you see on the left this is also a description of the channel so the consumer can scroll through channels and also view any metadata and the metadata is actually in this piece here so you can see um, and then he can change channels from from this as well very easily so if I go back a screen to the uh, to the EPG and I can go back to the menu uh, the user can also select the channel through the live TV category and then they can scroll through channels here as well. You can see how fast it is. And they can select off here and go straight to the channel that they want to view. So just go back to the main screen now. And then also, in an OTT environment or IPTV, one of the nice things about this platform for operators is they can support their own video on demand. So that can be HLS streamed. Uh, or traditionally RTSP. So they can select on titles, move through titles quite easily, select a title, and play the title. So then from here, they can either go back a screen, one screen at a time, or they can go back home immediately with the choice via the remote control. So I covered live TV, TV guide, video on demand, kind of traditional TV stuff. Um, they have a settings category so they can get into and adjust the display. So for the Android set-top box, so you can select whether you want Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And also you can adjust the display so it fits the screen. From here, you can go directly into the Android settings as well. So um, you can either get to the box settings via the settings inbox or the the base Android settings. So coming back home now we're going to get into the the apps themselves. So what differentiates this solution from an Android only solution is the operator doesn't control uh, the user experience. So as you can see in this user interface you decide which apps are in the platform. So we have a full middleware that you can pick the app, provide the address of the app that's then the apps loaded on the box and then only those apps can be uh, accessed by the customer. Why is that important? Well many operators want their own voice app on the box for example they don't want Skype. They'll want their own VOD on the box and they may not want Voodoo. Um, so this particular box does have Voodoo on it but you know for an operator that had their own VOD then they'd want to take that off because they wanted to do they want to do the new release transactional themselves. Okay. Um, so I'll just kind of show you you know a few apps kind of highlights. Uh, you know very fast you saw that. Okay so you can pretty much search what you want okay let's choose you know some something boring maybe like a state here I'll choose my home state so you got Iowa you click on and then immediately you're streaming and now you're in the ad 
when I come out of here I can go back one screen at a time with the exit button you know view more videos scroll through now this is the first time that you've seen this so you can see the mouse here I can just grab and throw grab and throw so that's a much better experience than you know what you'll see from TiVo Roku I mean they'll all have the same software I don't know who makes it but it's very slow and unstable uh, this is the uh, you know obviously Android OS with uh, you know the Google YouTube app on it so it's it's very nice app and one of the nice other features as far as moving around is you have a keyboard so you know I can very quickly you know type out what I want select it and go okay and you got a little bit of delay because of the software I used to demo this but you know it's very quick so I'll move back to the home screen so I press the home button there um, kind of keep going through you see some of the apps on here kind of the lifestyle apps uh, I'll show you a browser I have Firefox and Google Chrome on here um, so staying with the theme here of sports <laughs> I'll put in my home city team Minnesota Timberwolves okay and you see how fast that is okay and I can throw okay with the, the mouse up and down but I can also use the uh, channel up and down button when I'm in a browser and I can move that way as well so just very easy for the user to move up and down through the screen okay just a great app that really brings people from their tablets and their PCs to the TV so instead of sitting with a tablet on your your lap you can get what you need from your TV service so I select one This is very fast, so very you know doesn't matter. Very heavy, you know. Uh, web pages still handles it flawlessly. Okay, so I'll just move back. So I'm hitting the back button here, and I can move back levels very easily, or I can just you know go home as well and press the home button. Okay, you know some other really nice apps on here. Um, you know, one of the things you, you know you might want to do is put a news category so it's fully flexible. But you know, just kind of some of the you guys have seen Bleacher Report, so it's a very great sport news app. So it's something I've really enjoyed having, you know, on an Android TV device. So just give you a feel for that. Uh, you know, kind of the the million dollar app is obviously Netflix. So I'm going to move to Netflix. So the one thing uh, nice too, and you know, this is evolving so quickly that some of the apps are, you know, phone apps, um, and, uh, and and so we've kind of really done a lot of research on which apps really work well on TV. But some apps, like the Netflix app, is already optimized for a TV scenario. So that's something we're going to be seeing move very quickly because Android is coming out with the new release, Android L, this fall. This is 2014. And they've already signaled to the developers make your apps uh, suitable for TV. So the first Android TV has been released this week, as I speak, the week of September, the first week of September, um, by Philips. And next year, I believe Sony and uh, LG, all their TVs will be Android TV. All their smart TVs, sorry, will be Android TV. So the writing's on the wall. Okay. So just to kind of give you a feel of the optimization, so you can throw here, look how fast I'm moving. And you can even see that I can throw up and down. Okay, so that's very that's a lot quicker than a Roku environment, so it's very nice. And then you can throw left and right as well, as you can see. So you and, and this is why the dual play remote that supports both IR normal IR remote and AirPlay is essential. Okay? So I'll select a title, select uh, select the program, and you can see at the bottom here in a second, you'll see that you know the bottom bar, it, it you know it wants you to grab and you know you can rewind and fast forward this way. Okay, and you can also use the handset as well, but just very quick, very user friendly, as you can see, you know. 
just really easy. Let it stream again. So I can either move back a level, which I'll do right now, or I can move directly home as well if I want. So I'm, the first one was the exit, now I'm just pressing the home button on the remote and moving home. Hulu Plus, let's go into that now. So these are kind of the big apps, the really important apps that everybody uses. So very well supported. Click on a, an episode here for you. So you got the ad coming up. I'll go into the program. So I won't bore you with this, but it works very well. <laughs> okay. I'll go back one level, go back to mainstream. The same way, this is another thing that's really optimized for the TV. Almost looks like the same developer did both this and Netflix. Very good. So I'll head back home. Crackle, Voodoo. One of the things we've added on here through my son, discovered through my son, is kids love to watch vi people play video games. <laughs> so believe it or not, this is a very popular app. So we included this one. And, and you can choose your own apps, but you know, you can literally watch games being played and I won't bore you with it but these are the top gamers so it's something that we included on the demo I'll go back home uh, in the TV everywhere category I've got some news in here I, I think many operators will add the news category because this is just a great uh, way to to now see the news because you've got a 60 inch screen um, so this is BBC News so just really nice experience Put this on a bigger TV, you can sit and obviously read the news. TED, Fox News app, I've got some other stuff on here. Um, HBO to go, I'll throw, you throw that one up. that one get back home the other part of this that's really exciting is the gaming functionality and what we're seeing is that uh, you know this is going to be a real driver for this product and you know one of the things that people forget sometimes is you know what do people do when they view the television well they're trying to be entertained so if you can get all this entertainment and that's what I class it as on the same screen you know more the merrier so the the Angry Birds work really well. I think it'd be many operators will put many of those on here. There's some other games that I've discovered, like you know Dragonfly. That's a fantastic game for this platform. I'll kind of show you that because everybody's seen Angry Birds, but there's just a multitude of games. This is Dragonfly. It's a really nice gameplay. Dual pay remote works really well. Give you an idea, I'm not very good. So I'll keep moving on. So I'll just go straight home from here. And then shopping. I mean, shopping represents a real opportunity for operators. So uh, you have the option of obviously putting, you know, normal shopping apps on here uh, that, you know, that I have. But then operators also have the opportunity to build their own app. So Amazon have a development mobile developer kit that you can develop your own app. And within each app, you can link up to a thousand uh, products from the Amazon store. And then you'll get that 6%, up to 6% commission off everything that's bought. So to give you an idea, you may have the Vitamin app, the Gift app, you know, the 
the Christmas season app and then you may decide to fill your platform up with those apps so you can benefit from the commission and this then becomes you know a revenue source in addition to you know what you can charge for content so this platform you know things that I've missed you know it supports encryption uh, which is nice um, and, and then really what I haven't talked about you know are collapsing the price of the set-top boxes and you know just all those costs that usually cripple people so you know Android boxes now you're seeing things even dual core at twenty dollars you know um, and that varies on stability and all the features that you want but you know a conservative fee, uh, number is fifty dollars for a box for the you know the high-end vendors let's call them okay but our goal at Big Pipe TV is to really allow you to purchase a license and then have that license be perpetual so you create these as you know a uh, commodity and you can in three years they may upgrade to a box that's half the price and twice the power okay so you know that's our goal um, so I hope Oh, and, and then one other thing, I'm jumping around a little bit, but I kind of want to show you the radio. I didn't show you the music, but um, so you can get all your music apps as well. So here's Pandora. So I've been really enjoying this. So you get all your music apps as well. So with this, um, you know, it's a real opportunity for operators, both ISPs to do a new service or for existing operators to supplement the kind of traditional boxes they have out today. So someone may have an IPTV or cable service and they don't want to replace their Motorola cable boxes or they don't want to replace their Amino set-top boxes. With this solution you can supplement what you already have out there so you control this third-party device. Okay so you can make the revenue from it and then you know it's not a Roku box or an Apple TV box it's you the operators box so it's just a great opportunity for you to supplement what you already have you know make sure that if the cord cutter cuts you keep him on a pay service that may just be locals on net and for the ISP you know same thing now you have a television product for the cord cutters who can then come to you that you control that you can monetize you can put your own video on demand here and make revenue from that. You can put local channels on here and then you put other channels that are authorized to go over the open internet, let's say, and then you have additional channels that maybe aren't ESPN but they hit certain genres, you know, sport, whatever, or they could be ethnically um, oriented. So we've got all access to all those type of programs so you can target Hispanics or any other ethnic group that you could get massive penetration very quickly. So I hope you've enjoyed the presentation today. I'm sorry I jumped out, uh, around a little bit, but if you want more information, just go to our website, bigpipe.tv, fill out the contact us form, and you know we'd be happy to discuss uh, your project with you further. So thank you for your time.